Hey guys, what's up? Now before we continue on, I just need to say one thing. This video I actually recorded since 2022. And just letting you guys know, the microphone quality of that one is complete, utterly crap. So I do want to apologize for that. And plus, I'm a complete moron. Enjoy the video. Viewer discretion is advised. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to do another tier list for you guys, and this time we have here is the 2003 Hot Wheels Highway 35 World Race. So this tier, uh, tier list is going to be my own opinion because I saw this on Reddit that someone actually made this of their own opinion, and I want to do it for my own opinion. So, I'm doing this for you guys. Before we continue on, if you guys already seen the last video for the tier list I did, which is the Ninjago um, 2012 playset, go right ahead and check it out. If, but if you haven't, go to check it and you go to the end of the video to check it out. Or if you can, or you don't have time for it, go to the information symbol on the top right. Same thing with the full playlist. Well, there are only two videos of it, but this is the third one, so don't worry. Alright, so there's 35 cars. Well, actually, 36 because there's a repaint of. Swing shot, of course, of set 36. If you guys already know who it is, good. If you guys haven't, um, I would recommend to look at the movie for your own good. And trust me, the movie is great. I highly recommend it. All right, so we're gonna start off with the first seven cars of the team. There are seven cars in each individual team. Of let's see, one, two, three, four. Five. So five team with seven different cars. I'm really pretty excited for this for you guys, so let's begin with this awesome tier list. Now we're gonna start it off of course with the first car which is Diora 2. Which is this one right here. Diora 2, classic model, and oh a lot of people already know who it is. If you haven't, well, Dior 2 is one of the uh, original members from Highway 35 World Race and is owned by Vert Wheeler. And of course, it comes with two surfboard. And before anyone's going to ask who's Vert Wheeler, he's a, he's a kid who who been chosen to do the World Race. One story short, he won. So yeah. Anyways, um, I think Vert Wheeler will go to Dior 2. I think it goes to great for the track because it will work with boosters, loops, curve, downhill racing, and some jumps. And this is going to be my own opinion of it because of the design of the model and how it works on the tracks and all the other kind of random bullshit. Alright, the second car is Swishback, owned by, of course, Alex uh, Wood, who is a friend with Vert. So, Swishback. But just by looking at the model right here, the first, second photo right here, I know you guys are gonna just look at the, the mouse right here, then where I'm pointing at. Swishback. Um, I don't think he's gonna be good for the tracks because of the design of the front bumper. Donald Racing, probably not gonna work because he will probably slide. He probably scraped the track, so I may have to put it to Y though. Because the design of it of Switchback is not that great. Of course he had surfboard like a Dior 2 has. But Switchback mm -mm, It will not work. Alright, next up is the back draft. Which I actually do have the car. I do have DR2, I do have Switchback, but I do have Draftback. Now this model right here looks so well. I love the design of it, it and by just by the looking about it, it will work with boosters, loops, curves, downhill racing, and all the other stuff. So I think this one will go to great for the tracks. Next is Chevy Nomad, owned by Lonnie Tom, and I know a lot of people who simp on Lonnie, but the Chevy Nomad, I actually do have this diecast, and I 
mess around with it since I was a kid and actually this car is actually good for the tracks and just by the looking at the decals of it this is actually good and will work with boosters loops curves down racing all the other stuff and this will go to <coughs> great for the tracks power pipes I actually do have this die cast but not the original color scheme of you know different color scheme of this die cast I actually do have this, uh, this die cast this will work on of course the same so it will go to great for the tracks next is the Chrysler Thunderbolt holy shit this car is actually that's just pretty good it's so good this thing can go run faster in the tracks of course great for the tracks next up is the is of course the Corvette Stingray which I actually do have this die cast now when I try to put it into the boosters the design of the body of this car is so small like not so wide it's like the length of it like the width of it not the length the width it's like too small for the boosters so so he will not work for the boosters but he will work with but I will put it to work good for downhill racing because of the design of it of how the weight of it and also Marky Wild is the little brother of Kirk Wild which would get on with his car his original car and the Z36 car so that's all the team for Wave Rippers damn that's kinda sucks kinda feel bad for um for Backdraft right here Sheesh. swing shot owned by Kirk Wild the older brother of 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 course the older brother because yeah my brain has stopped working right now <laughs> swing shot I actually do have the original car but it's so beat up but just by looking at the design of it this car will actually work in the tracks because of the design of it like there's he can the die, this car does not scrape in the track I thought it will because of the design of the front bumper but it actually is pretty good so I think the swing shot and plus of course set 36 what good work for the tracks and if someone can actually make a custom set 36 car and actually send this to me I'll be literally happy just grab like the original the original one scrape out the paint off put it in just glossy black leave the windshield and just replace the green tie rims with some silver and boom there you go it's finished side draft this car right here and actually this car is actually pretty good this one what actually works on the tracks and the front bumper will lift it up it will work with loops and holy shit this is actually pretty good this is actually a good die cast I don't think I actually have this die cast in my collection but not like you know the original colors so this one will go to great for the tracks I might have to check my Huggle collection if I, I actually do have one alright next up is the Pontiac uh, Rich Rich Regis? Regis? I can't even say that one. And actually, I actually, I actually do have this diecast in my collection, and this one does work on the track. I'm just gonna put it to great for the tracks because of the design of it right here, and of course, people love Pontiacs, and we haven't seen a Pontiac in years. All right, 24/7. This car right here, and sadly, this car will not be gonna be good for the tracks because of the front bumper of it and I actually do have this die cast it, it will not work with loops it will not work with jumps it will not work with downhill racing so I'm gonna have to put it to YZO because the design of it is not that good it's kinda absolute shit of it so I do apologize for that Road Rocket. I actually do have this diecast, and I have this, and this diecast have like a feature of it that you can flip the canopy up, so that's pretty cool. But now today of the modern Road Rocket, it doesn't have the special canopy, and I actually do have this diecast. This one will go for great for the tracks because of the design of it. Just make sure to not lose this piece right here because it is very important of it. 
Flash fire. This car? This actually will work on the track. And here's the thing. Metal body, metal base. The car will be like, you know, a bit heavy of it. But it still work for the tracks just by looking at it. I want to put it for great for the tracks, but it also will good for Donna Racing. So, uh, I don't want to put it to meh. Because meh is for, is good, but it's bad. Oh, man. I, okay, I'm going to have to go for great for the tracks. Alright, next up is the Pontiac Firebird, which I actually do have this die cast in my collection. Not the original colors, the the actual model of this. And this die cast is super good, so of course, great for the tracks. Alright, so that's all the tier list for the, for of course, the Street Breeds, and now we'll be getting on with Road Beast. And of course, Ballistic, owned by Benji Castillo. I think this will go for great for the tracks because the design of it looks great. I love it a lot. Sodic. Uh, I might have to put a wise out because of the front bumper of this die cast is absolute shit. It will not work on the loops and not work for downhill racing. And this car is kind of absolute shit. I'm sorry. Twin mill. Of course, the original twin mill. I think this one will go for great for the tracks because this this is a classic car. And to be honest with you, it worked with all the type of tracks of it that you could think of. Man, I I really, I really need to get this one. Need to get this one. Motocross. I don't know if this one will work on the tracks because of the sign of it how how the weight of it like the length no wait the width of it the width not the length the width of this die cast like how wide it is and plus it has some open wheelers I don't think it's gonna go work with the track so I'm gonna have to put it mm, I don't know so I'm gonna put it mm, I don't know because it will probably not work in a track but we'll see if it work yeah, um, Vulture. I actually do have this diecast in my collection, which my vote, the co my copy of Vulture I have, is which is yellow, is so beat up. So this one will work for the tracks, of course. This will actually work. Power Rocket. I actually do have this diecast, so this one will also work for the tracks, of course. Power pipes, yes, of course, it will work in the tracks. Because the reason why DC works in the tracks, it could go run around like crazy, like holy shit. So that's all the uh, tier list of for Road Beast. And this kind of sucks that we have one for, mm, I don't know. Crazy Eights, owned by Brian Cadi. Oh man, I actually do have this die cast in my collection. Uh, and I have like this old starter set uh, place that I have like the big loop and I go run around in circles. Long story short, I might have to put it to meh because it's good, but the die cast sometimes it will not work for the tracks. At least in my copy, but I don't know about your guys' copy. Wow thing. Okay, I'm gonna have to put a wise though because this car is kinda absolute shit because this is it is absolute shit. Why do you put a die cast but it has small wheels? It doesn't even work on the tracks. But it does have a good feature that you can open up the canopy. The Toyota RSC. I don't have, I don't have this die cast, but just by looking at it, I don't think this will work on the track. It's great for the tracks. Like, hands down, it will work on it. The Ford F-150. Uh, it does have the little back piece right here that you can actually remove it. So, it will go for great for the tracks. Sweet 16-2. Damn, this diecast. Open wheel car. Yeah, this was not going to be work for the boosters. So, I might have to put it uh, for downhead racing. And here's the reason why. 
is because the reason why it has open wheels, it will bend the axles. But this diecast is actually good for downhill racing, loops, curves, jumps, all the stuff. The El Camino, which is this car right here. Uh, this is actually will pretty work on the booster, so on the track, so go for the track. Mega Duty. I actually do have this diecast, and I don't know if this diecast will probably fit on the tracks. So I'll put it to a meh. It's good, but I don't know, but we'll see if it works. So that's pretty much that set for dune rats we got we got a lot of sh we got a lot of cars that are great for the tracks two for good for downhill racing two two of them i don't know is is good but we'll see about that mm -mm, i don't know about this and why do we even exist all right the last car last member of the team the scorchers 1970 roadrunner good for the tracks and i actually do have this diecast Quarter mile coupe. Not good for the booster because of an open wheeler, but it's good for downhill racing. Red Baron. One of the classic cars, and trust me, it is one of the most classic cars for Hot Wheels history. So, good for downhill racing. I actually wanna, do actually want to get that diecast. The 1957 T-Bird. I actually do have this diecast. And it will, good for, it will work for the tracks. Dot Charger RT, great for the tracks. The 1963 Corvette split window, I actually do have this diecast, work for the tracks. And the last car, Muscle Tone, you guys already know, great for the tracks. So overall, this tier list... Damn, this is actually kind of depressing right there. Well, we have one car from, mm, I don't know, two for meh. I type between good for down and racing and why so. And but the rest of it, hold on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Fuck, I must count it. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 cars for great for the... God, that, this is actually the most depressing tier list that I actually ever made for this, of my own opinion. And holy shit, this is so sad. Damn. I might actually end this recording because this just by looking at it right now, this is actually pretty sad. So if you guys are gonna have your own opinions of it, um go right ahead and do it of your, which car is good for your opinion. I may ha I have no word to say it is This is sad as hell. This is fucking sad. I'm gonna have to end this right here. So have fun say seven always, I'm out. Change the world. Bye bye, little bastard. Goodbye.